everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. Today we're doing another 10k starter build. Today is, as you will probably see in the screenshot, is a little cute log cabin style one. Yeah, so I really wanted to try this and actually it was pretty easy though it is only a little one bedroom. A little cabin -y type thing, you know. Why not make it tiny? Well, it's not tiny. It's nicely laid out. It has all the facilities you'd want. A kitchen, dining table, a TV and sofa, a full bathroom and a bedroom. And because we used some of the stuff from the outdoor retreat pack in this one, so it's a little bit more expensive than I was expecting. So, well, so it was a bit more expensive, but I really liked the aesthetic of it. So we kept it in. But yeah, we just, I really like how it ends up, I mean this, the foundations don't stay this high because they look a little ridiculous, because it would look really cool if we could have all the trees around it, but with the 10k budget, we can't afford that many trees, so we just have a few little trees around, and if, I suppose we should have really built it in um, the Granite Falls, I don't even know if you can build that. I haven't tried. Should have built it there. But I don't think you can actually build there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it ends up being quite cute, I think. Yeah. Again, because this is only a little 10k build, it's not very sped up, so you get to see things a little bit clearer than you would in a normal sleeper video where it's like eight times as fast. This is only two times. Which, you know, because these builds take like less than half an hour to do, it's really, they're no more time consuming than me filming like an episode of a Let's Play, and I'm actually quite inspired to do these at the minute, so it's what we're doing. There's going to be a couple, there's at least one more after this one coming out on the channel, and there might be even more. I might go film some more today, once I get some more ideas why not you know I'm enjoying doing these I hope you are enjoying watching these and I have just made a playlist for all of these so you can now go watch them all in a nice handy little playlist which you know I will probably link with one of those little funky button things that you can do maybe if I can work out how to do it I've never done it before I will give it a go though so yeah I really struggled with the windows this one. I really wanted to get in the, the um, mega ones, but they didn't have one that matched the colour of wood we were using. So in the end we're here for white windows. We go for these little cheap ones, which I suppose is good. It saves us money in the build later on, but it does they're not as pretty. And I was kinda struggling to work out what windows to put in. It is a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, yeah it does look quite nice. Oh dear. And yeah. Trying to work out where things should go in this world is a little bit more awkward. But yeah, it did look really quite nice. Like the door. I don't know if that's the best place for it. I think I do move it when I actually put furniture in or put the walls in. Mostly because I was, um,. A little bit unhappy with where the sofa and TV would work because I think I moved it then. Yeah. See, it's a little log cabin. Tiny little log cabin, I think. You know, let me know what you think of it down below. But And if you have any ideas for any more little cute 10k builds you'd like to see me attempt. Because, you know, you can't get everything in the 10k. But I might try and do a little cute um, cottage or something next. A tiny one with a nice garden. I think that might be the, well, the next one I actually attempt to build. There is one more coming out after this, which is kind of um, very pink, is what I'll say. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen a picture of it. Because, you know, I post a little... You know, and sometimes on Twitter you get a little sneak peek of what is coming up build-wise. Not 
not much else, but you sometimes get the build. A sneak pilk. A sneak pilk. What? A sneak peek of the build <laughs> that I'm doing. Because sometimes I'll put a screenshot up straight after I've finished them. And they will, can all be found on the gallery to download. So if you want to put them in your game, you can. Uh, the link may be in the description below. I struggled with some of the other ones in this 10k section because the gallery just wouldn't let me load the links on the website. And I was like, oh, for God's sake. And I was trying to get ready to go. We were leaving to go on holiday and it wasn't working and it was stressing me out. It, it just got a little stressful just before we left because I was like, I really want to get these in. I need to finish uploading them and writing the descriptions. But it wasn't letting me do it. So. There we go. But it, you know, they're quite easy to find. Um, my username is Rini Beanie, as it is on here. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward to find me on the gallery, you know. And there's some, um, all of my builds I've done on the channel are on there, apart from one, because that one crashed before I could save it. So yeah, that one did not go on the gallery. And the other, and then there's also the builds I did before I started the channel as well on there. If you wanted to go look at any of them, they're not that good. Well, they're okay, but they're not great. Some of them are really good. And then others you're like, oh, why did, why did I upload that? I have deleted quite a few <laughs> that I wasn't very happy with. But, you know, some of them I really am quite happy with, so... It's just a shame I didn't record them at the time, and I like having the old coloured cushions, I thought it looked really cool. It was a purposeful choice, not just me thinking, eh, let's have one. Because it was the same colour, I didn't mind the cushions being odd. As you probably would find, if you were furnishing a house this cheap, not everything would match. Because you wouldn't be able to afford it all too much. Yeah, I go a little bit mad in the bedroom trying to fit stuff in, and then I'm like, oh, what's the budget at? And, uh, yeah. That bookcase and those drawers are pricey. So they go. And we have a mirror in the end, I think. Because I'm like, yeah, let's just put it fully furnish this bedroom, and then we'll check the additional costs. That was a mistake. It's okay, we've sorted it all out. It just means I have to delete everything. And I guess it shows you a nice way you could furnish this room if you wanted to spend some money with your sim. You know? Just because I have to keep it in the 10k budget doesn't mean that you have to if you wanted to use this house. You know? It's just all quite basic in the end with these 10k ones. Right, so, yeah, I figured, oh, I can't even get the bookcase in. Can I get that in? Probably not. So we just go for the cute little mirror that goes with the, the bed. Yeah. It looks quite nice. And yeah, I also shrink the, um, the balcony a bit because I'm just like that's a little bit too big and so it ends up being the same width of the house and we get rid of one of the pitches because I'm like I want to get some trees in <laughs> or something yeah so I'm like oh this doesn't quite look right so let's shrink it all and we'll get rid of that bench yeah, so you just have the one cool little log bench. And it's like, yeah, we've got a bit of money to spend. Let's get some trees. And we also shrink it because it looks a little odd being that tall. I found, so, yeah. We're just, you know, I was just trying to work out what trees we could get in. What would look good and realistic where you'd have a log cabin. You know, I don't really know because I've never really 
like I've never seen a log, proper log cabin person. Or what most people call a log cabin. You know, where we stayed was like fake cabins, but it was by the sea, it wasn't near like a forest or anything, so it doesn't really give you much perspective on it all. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like those beach trees, but I quite like the fur. Can we get some more furs in? Because it adds, it adds a quite nice feel with all the um, trees in the, the fake backdrop of the world. Now, like, can I get this massive tree in? Yeah, yeah, the massive tree. Oh, that looks good. Oh no, <laughs> we can't afford the massive tree. Literally. The two big trees cannot be afforded. <laughs> I was like, can we get the one that matches? And then spin it a little bit so it looks like it's a different tree. That's the one thing that gets me about this spot. It's the trees, they're all the same. I, I swear in The Sims 3, Plants and stuff had different variations, so you got a little bit of variation in it. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these two. It's been a while since I've actually loaded up the Sims 3 because it's really, really buggy from my PC. I may do a let's play on it, but I may not just because the Sims 3 and my PC are not, not good friends. And yeah, so here we are into the screenshots. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please like it if you have. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.